hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay and this is Life with Lindsay. As you can see, I have a very, 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 very large box here. This box comes to us from Diamond Art Club. I have two kits in here. Um, I wanted to unbox them with you guys. Um, I know I've seen a couple people already post theirs. So it's not, you know... Anything new, but it's still new to me. So, I will tell you, my desk is definitely not big enough for this. Um, I know I've said it before, I do have a very small work area. So, I'm going to just do the best that I can here. Um, you can tell one kit is significantly bigger than the other. Before we get into this, a few boring housekeeping tips. If you hear a noise directly to my left, I do have a fan running. I work on the third floor of my house, and it gets very hot up here. If you hear any tiny human noises, I do record while my child is napping or napping. So, that's what that may be. Let's see. We've got one round. Oh, my goodness. One round and one square. Oh, my God. I will do my best to insert a picture. I attempted to take a picture of the box standing next to me just for like size comparison so you guys could see how big it is. Um, to put it in perspective, it's almost as tall or as tall as my toddler. Um, this one came a little bit smushed. Not a big deal. Which one should we do first? Should we do them both? Let's do them both. Let's start with this one. This is... My garden needs tending. Mandy Manzano. This is a round drill kit from Diamond Art Club. And you know what? Should we do both of them? I wish that this was live and then you guys could tell me yes or no. <laughs> you know what? Let's do this one. Because this one is very out of the realm of my personal style. And if you guys want me to do the other one, I'll do a part two of this. And then I'll upload that at a later date. So let me know down below. Do you want to see an unboxing for that? So this big guy, and I mean big guy, is... Oh my god, I don't even know if I can get this. Nope. Let's try this. Sorry, it's totally off kilter here. It is the old shoe house. This will be the biggest kit I have ever done. Um, it is a 105 by 70. The biggest one I've currently done is 42 by 125, so it is longer than this, but it is not nearly as wide. So, this is the old mother Hubbard who lived in a shoe, and this is by artist Dominic Davison. So, I'm going to do my absolute best here to keep as much as I can in frame... Because, like I said, this is huge. It hangs off my table, and I can't go across my table width-wise, because it's wider than my table. And I record, I record, I do everything up against a wall. There's a wall just right over here. So, I can't even hang it over the edge of my wall. This is, by far, the biggest box I've ever gotten from Diamond Art Club. And the heaviest. So... Oh my gosh, you guys, this is insane. Um, ooh, 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 things are falling. All right. And if you guys didn't know, at the bottom of your packing slip, there is a code. I've said it before, Diamond Art Club never really wants you to pay full price. My sticker sheet got a little crushed, but no big deal. Um, and you always get the step-by-step -step instructions, which also has a code in here. There's other codes floating around. I'm sure that you could find them if you were really looking for them. So, the newer kits do come with the... I use these for my logbook. Some people put them on their boxes. So, when they have their boxes stacked, they can tell what it is. But look at this image. There's mushrooms. There's the shoe. There's the rainbow and the mountains. It's gorgeous. Holy crap. <laughs> you guys. 57 colors. There's three AB drills. Any of these symbols look like they're going to throw me off? Let's see. The ones with the dots, depending on how close they are to each other, even though they're different, tend to throw me off a little bit. And uh, it doesn't look like there's too, too many. 
that would otherwise confuse me. So, comes with your basic toolkit. You get a pair of tweezers, um, a pen, a squishy, some baggies, two pad of waxes, and a boat. Now, somebody recently asked me where do I get my wax. Honestly, I've tried a bunch of different waxes before, but I just keep going back to my Diamond Art Club wax. If I can figure out where to work on this canvas, oh my god. <laughs> Let's just put that in perspective, you guys. That's all the drills for one kit. This is usually what you get for one. There's so many drills on this kit. Oh my goodness. Let's look at the drills first, and then we'll pull the canvas out. Um, if I can figure out where to physically work on this, um, I'd love to do this next. If you guys have followed me on uh, Instagram, which if you haven't, I'll link it down below. Um, I tend to do a lot more of the cartoony, the faces, people, things like that. I don't really love the scenic, but yet here I am with something that's 100% scenery. There are so many drills. This is going to take forever, uh oh, to open. Ooh, we are not going to open that. One of my bags looks like it may have bust. So I'm recording this after I've recorded the video that is currently playing um, to see if this is something that is uh, totally busted or not, and uh, I don't know if I'll put it in the video or not, but I will. I just wanted to do this. If you guys don't like the crinkle noise, I do apologize. If you do, that's for you. Um, because of the nature of me doing this slowly, it will make a lot of crinkling noises, so. I'm trying to do this carefully. Oh. It's definitely some gray color. Pull you guys up a little bit. Okay. Going to figure out which one it is. I'm trying to tell if I can tell from the top. Oof. I am losing some more drills. I'm trying to be very, very careful about it. Um, anything I'm losing, well, right now I'm just going to keep it like this so I can do this. Okay. Let's do one strand here so I can figure out that is a lot of green. We are on multiple strands. So they are sticking to each other, the strands, which might just be because there's so many drills and they were so packed in there. Let's see. Okay. First chain. Looks good. I can't even tell which one this came from. It's this one right here. Oh, now I'm totally off camera. Okay. So it is this bag right here. This is bag 37.99. There is a tiny little hole right here. So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the trains. Choo choo. Now, I really want to sing Quad City DJs, but I don't want to get in trouble. So, it is a very minuscule hole. Like, enough for drills to just pop right out. Like, can you guys see that? So, not a lot has been lost, and Diamond Art Club gives you, like, an extra 20%. But what I am going to do is I'm going to put a piece of tape over this. Um, I have some washi tape right here. Actually, you know what? Let me use some blue painter's tape. 
Um, that way, it'll be more obvious which one this came out of. Just take a small piece here. And I'm just going to cover the hole. And that's it. That way, I know. Now, if for some reason, the few that spilled out isn't enough for me to finish this project with, I have, I have no doubt, because here's a second bag. I have no doubt that I'll be fine. Um, you can contact Diamond Art Club, and they will get you another bag out. Or you can check your stash if you have one. Um, I will say, you do need to be the original purchaser. Um, so if you bought a kit from somebody in a D-stash that does void this. Um, I have a little bit more on my desk over here. But other than that, that wasn't too bad. And I'm not, obviously, I'm not going to put these back in this big bag right here, right now. Um, either I will transfer these to, you can see, it's really not that much, relatively speaking. I'll either transfer these to another bag and label it as the same number, the $37.99, and then attempt to put these back in, or, well, who am I kidding? I can never get them back in the bag in the first place. So, I'm going to put you back to your regularly scheduled video. Bye, guys. If you, op if you ever order from Diamond Art Club, they do have a guarantee. If you drop your drills, spill your drills, lose your drills, don't have enough drills, they will replace them. And it's really nice. It tells you the number will be on the canvas as well. But it tells you the name of the canvas. And this is telling me that it is bag, well, one of two. And then this is bag two of two. Now, this is a square drill kit. Oh, man. All right. I'm going to have to be careful with that. Um, I'm hoping that it's not spilled everywhere. I can't even tell what color that is. But look at that sparkle, y'all. So, I'm going to just move that off to the side the best I can. Um, I don't want to open those up because I don't want to lose drills all over my table. So, let's just... I have you guys elevated as much as humanly possible right now. I am also standing up... To put this into perspective, my phone is about chin level with me, and I still can't raise it enough to show you the whole thing at once. So if you've never worked with the Diamond Art Club, I'm trying to figure out which is the top and which is the bottom, it is this gorgeous velvety canvas with the scalloped edges, which is great because it doesn't fray. They also clamp it. Oh my goodness. Look at, I, I, guys, guys, look at this detail, and it does tell you at the bottom, so here's those numbers that we just saw in the kit, and it tells you the size. This is a 41.3 by 27.6. That is insane, and if you see here, it does tell you the name of the artist, and it has the copyright symbol, which means that this has been licensed, um, and then this shows you what the entire image is going to look like. I am barely unrolled. Barely. Um, like, to put it in perspective, I have unrolled uh, not even a foot. About 11 inches. Do you see how much detail is in the mushrooms and the flowers? I'm going to keep going. And the trees and the rainbow. This is... This is stunning. I... I have no idea. If you guys have any tips and tricks, I can work on canvases that are either long or wide. I've never worked on one that is both. I have no problem rolling a canvas. Um, if you ever have to do that, for your own personal knowledge, make sure that if you are rolling it, you are rolling it with the drills facing out. What does that mean? That means you want to roll it. This is so big. I don't know if I can do it by myself. Like this. When you have the drills on them, you roll it so the drills are facing upward. And then you can just keep shifting. So. Oh my god. And the castle. This is... I feel like I watch other people's videos and I'm like, there's no way somebody can be that excited about a diamond painting like all the time. You guys, I'm this excited about this. Like, look, there's little ducks in the water. I'm going to try to roll it up like a scroll so you guys can see as much of it as humanly possible. And I will do my best to insert a picture. I might have to have my really tall husband take a photo of it so you guys can see it laid out to see how big it really is. But look at this. 
Look at the house, the old shoe, like the cherry blossoms. This is stunning. This is so not my style either. But I think watching everybody do their chuck-alongs, I'm kind of growing into more scenic pieces. with so The water and the boat. More mushrooms and flowers. The bench. I mean, this is unreal, you guys. This is absolutely gorgeous. Has anyone else picked this canvas up? Are you going to work on it? Is this your style? Would you work on it? Well... Let me know down below. If you guys are here for the rambles, let me know. Here for the rambles. Make sure while you are here that you give this video two thumbs up. Yes, I'm aware you can only really give it one thumbs up, but give it one virtual and one real life. Woo! Ah. Make sure while you are here you hit that bell that tells you anytime I upload a video. I do not upload on a schedule. I do operate on toddler standard time. So if you like this video, make sure you let me know down below. And give this video the two thumbs up. We've already gone over this. Now I'm just rambling. Hence the here for the rambles. I'm so excited, you guys. Look at this. There's like a seagull on the roof. I'm I'm like geeking out. That's how excited I am for this one. If you guys want to see part two of um, the unboxing, let me know. I will get that up for you guys as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching my this video and subscribing to my channel. Make sure you say hey down below. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye.